Thank the choir for the beautiful selection this morning. We have prayer cards in your pews. We have a special request, a special praise, something on your heart, something on your mind. You're welcome. Please to place them on the card. And we will pray for them in Mass this morning and specifically on Tuesday for each request. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. We need to continue to keep Ryan Morton in our uppermost in our prayers. And Ryan continues to progress, but he's still in the trauma unit and an automobile accident uh, last Monday evening. Uh, Ken and Nancy's uh, grand, Ken and Nancy's grandson, and uh, we're he's we're, we're still in the trenches, but moving in a positive direction. So we need to keep Ryan in our in our thoughts and uh, and in our prayers. And it's just been a very uh, intense week in a, in a number of ways. And it's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. It's good for God is able to hear our prayers. We remember Lori Boffinger and I have thoughts and prayers who had surgery this week. Walter Korn, who was hospitalized this week, but is back, um, is back at his place. And uh, we need to keep him in our thoughts and prayers as well. And God's got a special word. Thank you, Bill. God's got a special word for us this morning. So let's come before the Lord in prayer. Let's prepare our hearts. Amen. Lord, your word says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And when I say my, Lord, I say it for everyone here this morning. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Lord, what a week this has been. Lord, we thank you for being in your house this morning, for being in the house of the Lord. We pray that you add a blessing upon everyone who is here. We pray that you would bless us, that we may be a blessing in your kingdom. We pray for our nation. We pray for all those who serve. We pray for Ryan. We pray for his unit. We pray for our president. We pray for our governor. We pray for all in authority. We pray for this situation in Syria, Lord. And we pray that you would, that you would make a way. 
and that you would guide our leaders. And we pray, Lord, for the church of Jesus Christ, whatever it is called, Lord. We pray for those who know you as Savior and Lord. And Lord, we ask if anyone here does not know you as Savior and Lord, your word says that today is the day of salvation. Lord, may everyone in this sanctuary know that you died on the cross for their sins and that through your grace we have the promise of new life, of starting over, of being fresh and being new. Lord, we depend upon you this morning. We depend upon your grace. Your word says, I'll instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. May it be so. Your word says, for surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for harm to give you a future with hope. We pray, Lord, may, may that be so in our hearts, in our homes, and in your church. Your word says to hearken, which means to listen intelligently which means to go into God's presence and to hear His voice and to hear, to hear His word. May, may this happen, Lord, in our lives. We ask this in your name. We pray for all who need a special touch, all on these prayer cards, for Lori, for Ryan, for Walter, for for all who just need a special touch this morning. And you know where we need it, you know how we need it, Lord. <coughs> Help us to be attentive to hear your word. Help us to be everything that you are calling us to be. And, and may the United Methodist Church be a renewal movement in the kingdom of God. Have your hand upon us, Lord. Have your hand upon us and, and lead us and guide us. We ask this in your name. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. And as you have taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.